Hi, Jonah here with Parts Built 3D, and today I'm doing an assembly video for the Prusa hot end kit. This is the titanium hot end kit, and it comes with the titanium heat brake, and that is a Prusa specific titanium heat brake, so it can be used with the MMU. The kit comes with that heat brake, it also comes with a 0.4 millimeter brass nozzle. Comes with a silicone sock, heater block, heat sink, Prusa specific thermistor, Prusa specific heater cartridge, a little syringe of boron nitride paste and some applicators, and then the hardware kit, which is some little hex keys, set screws, and clamping screw for the heater block. A couple other things you might need when you're assembling this kit is your wrench to tighten down the nozzle. And what I use is I use a seven millimeter socket and this uh, slice engineering, let's see if I can focus on that. Yep, slice engineering uh, torque wrench. And this puts uh, 1.5 Newton meters of torque I like that. Uh, what I did is I got a little adapter that runs from a bit driver to a quarter inch socket. The bit driver adapter fits right into the slice engineering torque wrench. And then I can put my seven millimeter socket on top. Good to go there. Another thing I use a lot when I'm assembling these is the Nipex uh, pliers. I'm not sure the exact, uh, what these are called. I mean, obviously they're pliers, but they have flat jaws, totally smooth. What I like about that is when I'm tightening everything up at the end, I can get a hold of the heater block and hold it. And it doesn't, it doesn't dig into it all. It just holds it nice and tight, puts no marks on it. So the, the part number for this is, is the NIPEX 8603180, I think. It's worn off. These are, this is an older set. But that's, that's a really nice one. I think the 180 at the end is just the size. Um, and that I have several different sizes of these, and the 180 is definitely the one I, I use the most. That's a good tool to have around. Okay, I am going to start the assembly with our heat sink, heater brake, and a little boron nitride paste. You know, a little applicator here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some boron nitride paste to the cold side of the heat brake. And the heat brake has two sides to it. We got our hot side right here, and we got our cold side right here. We only want to put the BN paste on the threads of the cold side. Okay. We never want to put it on the hot side because we do not need more heat going up the heat sink. So we'll just put it right there. Now to apply the paste, what I like to do is I'll just squirt a little bit out onto a little rag and I will put my thumb right back here and kind of control to control the plunger. Otherwise a lot more comes out than, than you want. There we go. So I squirt out a little bit, then take my heat brake and I kind of roll a bunch on there. Just kind of keep rolling it around. Until all the threads are coated. Then I can take one of my applicators and kind of finish up. It's okay to leave a little bit extra on there. We'll wipe that off. 
What you don't want is you don't want it all the way up on this because I don't want to risk getting it down into there. So just on the threads. Okay, now we take our heat sink and we just thread it on. Take it almost all the way down. And then at that point, I'll take one of the little applicators, make sure they're clean, and take off some of the excess paste. Then we tighten it down the rest of the way. Snug it up with our fingers. And we can use this shop towel to kind of clean off any excess. Now, after we assemble this whole thing, we're going to let this just dry overnight. So that'll kind of harden everything up in here and keep your heat break tight. Okay, next we are going to install the heater block or hot block. And there are two, or there's one orientation for this. You do have to kind of watch which way you install it. You have one side of the hot block has three holes. One side has two holes. The side with two holes goes towards the heat sink. So the side with three holes will be facing down towards the bed of the printer when this is installed. So we got one, two, and one, two, three. So the side with three holes is where we're gonna put the nozzle. So we go ahead and thread the nozzle in. We thread it in all the way till it touches. Don't crank it down, just till it touches. And then back it off half a turn. Okay, so all the way down, I'm gonna back it off half a turn. Then we go ahead and take the heat sink side, we thread that in, all the way down till we feel it hit the nozzle. Don't go cranking on it because you don't want to break your heat break. So once we feel it hit the nozzle, that's when we can take our torque wrench and you hold on to the heater block. Do not hold on to the heater sink or you'll or the heat sink or you'll you could break the heat break. So hold the heat block and use your torque wrench to tighten it down. 1.5 newton meters. That's it. Now what we have. Heat sink, heat break, right in the middle there, can't really point at it, heater block and nozzle. Okay, next I'm going to open up my hardware bag and get all the little bits and pieces out of that. And what I want to find in there is my little pan head screws and my two millimeter hex key. Go ahead and just kind of put it on the hex key like so and we're going to install the heater cartridge clamping screw. So it goes right in there like so. Just go ahead and feed it down. Don't tighten it up, just feed it down to about where it stops. And then we're going to use our 1.5 millimeter hex key and we're going to put one of the little set screws, or some people call them grub screws. Set screws on that. And we're going to put the set screw in so it will be clamping the thermistor. That, you can feed it down until it kind of starts to disappear. And if you look down the hole here, I can feed it in and I can see it start coming out into the hole. Back it off a little bit. 
Okay, so those, we've installed the two screws that we need. Next, we will install the heater cartridge. So with the heater cartridge, you've got to look at the orientation. And it's a good idea to look at the orientation on your current setup. Yes, you know, some people might have changed it, it might be set up differently. But generally for the Prusa, when you're looking at the front of it, your heater cartridge comes out of the back left. So that's where you want to put it in, back left, just like so. So when I'm doing the heater cartridge, I want to put a little BN paste in there. We'll go ahead and do that. Get right down in there a little bit. Now what I do is I put a finger on the back. And just push this in. By putting a finger on the back, you don't let the BN paste come out, and then it just kind of mushes out over there or out the, the front. And here we can use our two millimeter hex key. So when you tighten this up, you don't need to close this gap completely. You just want to put enough pressure on your heater cartridge to hold it in place. I don't know if I can get this on the video, but see that gap there? That does not need closed. That gap is totally fine. What we'll do, we'll put some BN paste down in the gap. And we'll use our shop towel to clean it off. That's looking pretty nice there. Okay, so next we will install the thermistor. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a little boron nitrate paste or BN paste right in the thermistor hole. Just a little bit. I might have put a little more than needed because look, it's coming all the way out the other side. It does not take much. What I like to do is put a finger on the other side. Just like so. So I might have to pull that finger off a little bit as the boron nitrate comes out because I put so much in there. So put that just like so. And then we use our 1.5 millimeter hex key. Go ahead and tighten that down. Just tight enough to hold it. We don't need to be cranking it down super hard. And that is it. Now what we have is we have our, oops, went out of frame there. Yeah.
There we go. We have the heater cartridge installed and the thermistor installed. So then what I'll do is I'll usually spend some time cleaning it up, getting all the excess paste off just so I have a nice clean hot end. I think that's all looking pretty good. Then we can go ahead and take our silicone sock, put that on. There it is. Okay, now once that's all installed, you want to, I, I just let it set overnight. This That lets all the moisture evaporate out of the BN paste and dries everything out. You do not want to be just putting it right in your printer and firing it up to temperature. You got to let that BN paste dry. So, you know, a minimum of four or five hours, but I think just letting it go overnight is the way to go. Okay, so that is the video on how to assemble the Prusa hot end kit. And um, I hope it helped you. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.